Bronson Reed returns to WWE. Mandy Rose has made $500,000 on fan time since her WWE release. Lacey Evans deletes social media posts after sharing autism conspiracy. Welcome to another episode of The Latest. We got a couple of news stories to get into here today, so let's kick it off with the return of Bronson Reed. 16 months after being released from the company, Reed returned to WWE on Monday's Raw to aid The Miz in defeating Dexter Loomis. A former NXT North American champion, Reed was released by the company in August 2021, going on to have a prominent stint outside the company as Jonah. Reed perhaps made his biggest mark away from WWE in New Japan Pro Wrestling, including defeating Kazuchika Okada in the 2022 G1 Climax Tournament. He went on to drop a singles rematch to Okada in October 2022 at Declaration of Power in a featured bout. As Jonah, Reed was also featured in PWG competing in the 2022 Battle of Los Angeles Tournament. A 2021-2022 run in Impact Wrestling culminated in losing a Monsters Ball match to PCO in a match that aired in May. Reed's first WWE run began in 2019 when he was announced as part of the January Performance Center recruiting class. His NXT television debut would come later that year in July. His North American title reign lasted 42 days from May to July 2020. And now an update on Mandy Rose and how much money she made on her fan time page. The agent for now former WWE NXT Women's Champion Mandy Rose says his client has made a lot of money since her firing from WWE last week. Talking to TMZ, first round management Malki Kawa said Rose had earned $500,000 from her fan time account since being fired for posing controversial adult photos on the subscription website. After more than a year as the NXT Women's Champion, Rose lost her title to Roxanne Perez on last Tuesday's NXT and a title match moved up from the originally scheduled January 10th date. According to Dave Meltzer, Matt Bloom brought up what Rose had been posting to Shawn Michaels, who then made the call to remove the title from her immediately. The 32-year-old has been with WWE since 2015, making her main roster debut back in 2017. She returned to NXT in July 2021 and won the title at that year's Halloween Havoc. After she was released, she thanked all of her fans for support and increased the price for access to her account this week. After sharing a video on Instagram focused on conspiracy theories surrounding autism, and Attention Deficit Disorder, ADD, WWE's Lacey Evans deleted the post and then defended it on Twitter before deleting that as well. The video featured two men from an alternative health media outlet disputing diagnosis numbers for both autism and ADD, claiming those types of disabilities didn't exist until a certain period of time, pointing to processed foods as a reason. Evans deleted the video, and in replying to a Sean Ross Sapp tweet about it said, quote, I watched a video on the impact of processed food it's having on our children, and I shared the video. Y'all are insane. A fan later pointed out that Evans in the past has appeared on an ad for corn dogs, a processed food. According to the World Health Organization, 1 in 100 children are autistic, while millions of children and adults worldwide have been diagnosed with different versions of ADD, ADHD. Evans is currently a member of the SmackDown roster and is undergoing another repackaging. She has wrestled just three times in the last four months and two of those matches coming in September. Last but not least, next week's Raw will be a Best of 2022 episode. A commercial during Monday's Raw confirmed that next week's show on December 26th will be titled The Absolute Best of 2022, a highlight show focusing on the top WWE moments of the year. Raw will return with a live show on January 2nd with a Raw women's title between champion Bianca Belair and Alexa Bliss. And that's your quick news rundown for today. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next vid.